I hope you like the last one, you know, just the vlog thing I'm working on. It's kind of new, but you know, work with me. We're going to have some fun. Now this crown, crown, crown is very important. This is going to be for my peoples, my peoples. Now this is going to be the top 10 things you're not going to do when you go see the Black Panther movie. You hear me? We're going to act accordingly. We're going to go on and support this movie. This is a big movie for us. Um, we were supporting it now. That's a great thing for going forward. I just have a list of rules that we're going to follow so that we can, um, not, you know, look crazy out there in the streets. So these are the top 10 reasons. Matter of fact, these are the top 10 things, excuse me, we're not gonna do when we go see Black Panther. Number 10. All right, now we're not gonna go out there and start putting up flea market in front of the movie theaters. And that's not what we're gonna do. We're not gonna be selling black soap, incense, and dashikis and koofies in front of the, the goddamn movie theater. You're gonna let people go and enjoy the movie theater. All right, sell that shit on two fifth, right? Or sell that shit somewhere where it's necessary. Don't do that, please. We know you feel like the black community needs these things and it's essential to them in their everyday lives, but you please don't do that there. All right. We're not we're not doing that, all right? We're not we're not we're not gonna be out there trying to pander the people with this kind of stuff. Don't do not do that. Let, let them go enjoy the movie. Save the black soap for another day. Save the dashiki and all that. Save that for, for, for when we got to focus on that type of thing, all right? It's not that time of day, all right? It's, we're here to see the movie, all right? So take that shit somewhere else. Anyway, number nine. No passing hot sauce throughout this movie on your pocket, on your hot wings. I know that's not kind of ignorant. I see you probably say we won't do that, but I guarantee you, Someone got a hot sauce thing in their bag, and they bag, and they gonna be putting it on their hot, their popcorn. They gonna feel extra, extra niggerish because they had a black theater, and they feel that they're amongst their people. So you can do these kind of things. No bringing hot sauce to the movie theater. No putting hot sauce anything in that thing on the fucking movie theater. I don't give a motherfuck what it is. I don't care if it's these hot sauces. It's bland. You don't keep your hot sauce at home. Like we don't. We're not gonna shit. We're not gonna show the niggerish side of us. Don't do not bring no hot sauce to this motherfucking movie. All right. That's number nine. Number eight. Please don't be in there shouting out African kind of shit like, or some shape of, or some type of. Please don't do that. All right, I know you feel Africanism, and I know you feel like you know you your Nubian shit is coming through your your soul, but keep that shit to a minimum. Don't do that there. We don't need that there. Take that shit elsewhere. Right? Go down the block and scream that shit out, then come back to the theater when you got that fucking ghost out of your body. Right? Not there. Number seven. No stepping, all right? I don't know Captain Gamble, Lou, Sigma, Figure, Figure 5. No stepping down the aisles. No stepping on the movie stage. We don't want you stepping. We know the back heritage, this is the, this is the thing we're doing here. But we don't want no stepping going on. I'm on no cute. Oh, I don't want none of that there. We ain't going to do that. No stepping, right? Your black fraternities, keep your ass in your seat, all right? And when you feel the need to, you want to go step, take that shit down the blind. No stepping at the movies. Black Panther, we ain't doing that, all right? What number we at? All right, number six. No electric slide during the trailer. We're not doing that. All right, let the trailer be the trailer. Let us get informed about the stuff that's coming out in the future. All right, we might have some other black shit that we need to go about. No electric slide, and I don't want nobody doing that shit. All right, none of that shit. This is not a barbecue. It's not a family reunion. No electric sliding. All right, I know it's gonna be a lot of black people. You're gonna feel the urge, the itch to do that, but we're not gonna do that. No, no electric sliding during the trailer. All right, number five. Number five. If you feel the need to see, some, if you see someone and you feel the need to, to confront them because they owe you money or they did something to your girl and you just don't like them, take that to the bathroom, shoot that five, and come back and watch the movie. Do not shoot them in the movie theater. Do not fight them in the movie theater. We're watching Black Panther, so you take that nigga shit into the bathroom, fight it out, come back, and resume your movie. All right? We don't want that. Because at the end of the day, if you do that, chances are the whole movie theater is going to beat your ass. So don't start saying that you can't in, all right? I'm just keeping it, keep it in the box. Give me a little word of advice. Number four, lead the white people alone, all right? We know this is our movie. You know, last thing we want to do is see the other man, the other color, the other meat in our thing. But, you know, let embrace them for that, that day. Let them know that we are civilized people and that we can do things um, together with our acting in a stylistic or beast mode. Just lead the white people well, let them know that we can enjoy a movie and not get hostile and let them leave in peace, all right? If you don't need to trip them, you can trip them coming up the aisle. You know, you ain't got no coordination anyway. You might knock a little soul in their body. But other than that, leave them alone. Let them be, okay? All right, number three. After the movie...
after the movie is over, this is number three, after the movie is over, please, no pump up parking lot pimping in the parking lot. Please go home. Go home to your kids. Go home and, and, and talk about the movie. Blog about the movie. Um, you can go in and watch it again, but just no parking lot pimping. All right? Everybody go home. That's how shit happens. You know, people get shot. You know, we don't want no bad things happening to this after this movie. We want them no bad reviews, no nothing in the news saying that this happened because of the our race wasn't acting be like, you know, civilized people. Please just go home after the movie. All right. Number three. Number two. All right. If you got a big ass Queen Latifah hat on your head, please have enough respect to take that shit off so the next person behind you can see. I know you want to be proud African American and show your pride and you want to wear your you know, your costume and all that, but don't make sure you take that shit off your head because most likely that shit is about yay, about eight to nine inches tall and the next person won't be able to see. So so you won't risk them knocking that off your head, take it off, and put it in your lap. All right? It might be used as a popcorn holder anyway. You can probably put your popcorn, eat your popcorn out of this shit anyway. So, you know, put your hot sauce on it anyway. But, you know, just be respectful, all right? I'm just saying. Number one. This is number one. This is very important. Number one. If you have kids under five, keep them motherfuckers home. Because nine times out of ten, they're going to talk through the whole motherfucking movie. And you know what's going to happen? You will be asked to leave. And you done spent your 20 some odd dollars, your extra 20 for your popcorn, and uh, your extra 20 for your, uh, well, you didn't pay that because you didn't pay for the babysitter, but you're going to be asked to leave. And that's not going to be cute. And the last thing you want to do is be asked to leave at a, such a monumental um, occasion, situation. You know, you don't want that. So just take heed to what I'm saying. These are the, the 10 things. I hope you took notes and listened to what I said. I guarantee you it will make you a, most, more, a more pleasurable experience at the movie theater. And go see Black Panther support. I had a black cat around here. I was going to show my black cat, but I might show him at the outro. This is Doghouse Raider Crown Chronicles Part 2. Doghouse Raider every Thursday is 10 p.m. Peace out. One. Stay black.